day everybody it's Kyleage today is what is today Tuesday May 31st 2023 it's 5 30 we're on the way home from work in Moose Jaw it is raining so we'll see if it's raining at the pasture or not more so the thunder lightning situation depend if we go fencing or not so yeah it's been raining off and on on my drive home. It's been rain, ranging from pouring to absolutely no rain to like, you know, four drops like this, like the road's not even wet. So yeah, don't see or hear any thunder or lightning. It's really kind of cleared off in the last little while, but we sure could use a shot of rain. I'll tell you that for free. But yeah, we're back at Arnold's pasture. I finished the hill last night, which was good. Dad gave me a ride, got the tractor, moved it around from the north side to the south side. That's like a, you know, close to an hour job by the time you, you get a call for a ride to get around to the other side and drive around, which was probably half an hour or so, maybe 40 minutes, I don't know. But yeah, here we are. So I got probably about 15 or so posts to put in here. I would love if I got these polished off tonight. That would just really be amazing. Um, I think I should be able to. But I dropped all my crackers. Oh, there it goes. Yeah. Hard, don't try to say. Got this neat tool belt. I think this one was actually Grandpa Jim's. Um, got some staples in here. And yeah, I have some steel posts, the ones that we pulled the other day. And uh, I'm going to ditch some of those at the top of the hill for next year. show hope I didn't break any wires Okay, so that's a look at what I'm doing tonight. Back 
smashing posts in, throwing staples in, and moving on to the next one. So maybe some more rain in an hour. I guess we'll see what happens, but yep. Talk at you later. Here we can see, I think it's Metz's horse. Dad and I were talking about this like the other week, but then I forgot. I think it's Metz's horse. It, it just hangs out in Arnold's pasture because it doesn't want to stay home. And yeah, and it, it hardly moves. Like one week I seen it in the spot and then a week later it was still in the same spot. So he just lives here rent free. But something I was just thinking is I need to get better at closing the gates. Because I, I've left that gate open at the road for like three days. And I forgot about the horse. I pop over the hill. I'm like, oh, the horse. I'm like, I should have closed the gate. There's our cows all down there on Brent's pasture. And, uh, yeah, if you see right there, oh, 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 right there. That's the cross fence between Brent's on that side and Arnold's on this side. So yeah, that's about 120 acres over there and this is about 320. So it's basically close to a mile and a half from one end to the other. So yeah, pretty cool, eh? I want to find out that horse's name because I feel like that guy would be like a George or something, you know? So anyways, we got to go down, about halfway down, go through the gate, pop over to Vance's side, come down this road, and put in a post right there. You can see that one leaning up against. That one needs to be, wow, that's what happens when you set your gloves on your lap. So I'm just going to fold this thing up because um, what will happen is... This cylinder, obviously, as you're driving, creeps, creeps, creeps. And this bottom of this hammered thing here can smack the tire valve stem, and then that you have a bad day. So, yeah. Just go like that. And might as well go like that. There. quarter to nine now and I'm done fencing at Arnold's aside from the water crossings which hopefully we get done this Sunday we'll see what happens though um, so now I am headed to the north farm and we have one pasture there that still needs some fence done um, we just need some posts put in and then it'll be ready to go so move that there tonight it'll take close to an hour to get there then dad has to bring me back to my truck so it'll be after 10 by the time we get all home and done for the day um, and yeah then at some point maybe tomorrow maybe Friday we'll see what happens I can go and put those posts in the North Farm so yeah Andy dandy we will talk to you all tomorrow Mr. Air Seeder, you're winning the light game. Dang you, it's 20 to 10. That is dedication. I'm, I, I could kick my field lights on, but I'm not yet. What a guy, what a legend right there, wow. morning everybody it's June 1st um, we didn't get to bed till like 1 a.m. last night because my brother was putting the fifth wheel hitch in his truck and uh, drilling a hole there was a brake line that was a little rusty and it just happened to break off so we we're fixing on that so yeah we have my old Articat here 
it's been sitting in the shed for a year with a blown up engine um, rocker arms were pooched on it and I found that guy in Regina says he'll give me a thousand bucks for it so I got an appointment in Regina today and I'm going to haul it in so yeah I mean, if you squint it's mint but yeah the battery we robbed to put in the other one so I got booster cables hooked up glad I bought those booster cables. I won some at curling and they were decent but these ones are so heavy to do. smoke the doors off the other way. So yeah, um, I gotta, gotta spool this winch up. So I guess I could do it with no tension if I really wanted to because it's not like I care. But we'll try and be smart about it. I'll do the rest without the camera and then I'll just push it ahead, throw a strap around it and yeah, then that'll be done. So bye bye to my first major purchase, I guess. My brother and I bought these in 2018, so five years and put a couple miles on them. but. Not nearly as many as I would have hoped. I would have thought I would have been able to have this one for 20 years, but nope, guess not. So, brotherly trucks. There's dust control on our road this morning, so we're going slow as to not splatter the truck because this stuff's really hard on your paint. Layton's driving in the ditch. Look at him! Oh my goodness! He's driving in the ditch. He must have to go pick somebody up this morning. I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> oh man. Um, it's like calcium chloride, I, I think, is what it is. The same stuff you put in tractor tire. But it's calcium, calcium something that's rust things easily so yep but keeps the dust down real good like it's a it's like a couple days of driving slow and then you're good for the rest of the summer you know home from work more of the same just Repairing some fence. Life of a part-time rancher. Go to work during the day, come home in the evening, do a bit of ranching, go to bed, do it all over again. Yeehaw. Anyways, 